Hi, we have this integral on the board. We have 4dx over x squared plus 4x plus 20. First thing I noticed about this integral is that we can't factor this denominator. Good factor, we could use partial fractions, but that's not going to work in this case. So what I'm going to do is complete the square. Let's rewrite this. We'll bring the 4 outside the integral. And then we'll complete the square on the denominator. So we'll write this as x plus 2 squared, because so I want to get this 4 here. Then notice if you multiply this out, let's just do this in our head. So this would be x squared plus 4x plus 4, but we have 20 here. So we'll add 16 to the 4, and then this is the same expression. And now at this point, we're in good shape for a trig substitution. It's not quite the easiest trig substitution in the world, but it's still not too bad. So what I'm going to do is let's substitute I'm going to substitute for x plus 2, okay, so we'll substitute, we're going to call x plus 2, and we'll substitute 4, tan of t here. And why 4? Because we want, when we square that, we want this to be 16. Then we need to find our dx value, so we'll take the derivative of the left side here, dx, derivative of this is just dx, and that's going to equal 4 secant squared as the derivative of tangent dt. Next we'll rewrite this and make our substitution so we have our 4 out front. dx is just 4 secant squared t dt. Our x plus 2 is going to be 4 tan t. But that's all squared plus 16. Let's just clean this up a little bit. We'll bring the 4 to the front and multiply times this 4 and we'll have 16 in front secant squared t dt, then squaring this we'll have 16 tan squared of t plus 16. Then we can factor out a 16 in the, new, the denominator, bring that out. So we'll have 16 over 16, which of course is going to be 1, that's nice. We'll have secant <clears throat> squared t dt in the numerator. Then factor after we factor out the 16, we're just going to have tan squared t plus 1. Now the key thing here is we have this identity that we know that tan squared of t plus 1 is just the same thing as secant squared of t. So that will bring that back into this expression and we'll just have, we'll cancel our 16, we just have a 1 out front so we don't even need that. Secant squared t dt. But now doing this piece, we'll have secant squared t in the denominator. But that's going to cancel, and this whole thing cleans up really nicely to just dt. So then we get to do the easiest integral in the world, right? 1, the integral of that is just going to be t plus c. So to finish this off, all we need to do is find out what t is. We do need to do a little bit more work because we don't have t, we just have this expression here to work with. But what we can do, let's, where should we bring this? Uh, let's bring it down here. We'll divide both sides by four. We'll have x plus two divided by four equals tan t. Then to find t, we'll just take the inverse on both sides. So we'll have t equals tan inverse x plus two over four substitute that back in for t and how convenient is it that i have exactly the right amount of room for the answer right here we're gonna have tan inverse x plus 2 over 4 plus c and we're done 